Once you have your seven circle pattern, the next stage is to draw some straight lines in. So you'll need a pencil and ruler. You might want to take your pencil out of your compasses now if you don't have a spare one, or just open your compasses nice and wide as long as you're careful uh, not to hurt yourself on the point. You'll notice on my design, I've made six points around the edge of my original circle really clear. Not the, not the point in the middle, that doesn't particularly matter, but these six points, and they're all on the edge of the circle. They're really, really important. If your circles don't match exactly, just try and put the point as close as you can to kind of the middle of where they would all meet. So that's your starting point. Now I'm going to draw lines that join each of these points around the edge of the circle in turn. You're going to use a pencil and ruler. Um, these letters appear. You don't need to worry about these letters. It's just the technology I'm using puts them there. And now you can see the black lines form a six-sided shape where all the lines are the same length and all the angles are the same at the corners of the shape, the vertices. So this is a hexagon, it's a regular hexagon because all the sides and all the angles are the same. Um, as well as those, I can now join the points going across the shape. So I'm gonna go and join points across the shape to points on opposite sides. And my diagram starting to get quite busy now with lots and lots of design on it, lots and lots of lines, and it's starting to look well, maybe a little bit messy. Um, there we go, I think I've got all the designs, all the lines on there, oh no, I'm missing one, let's put that in there, um, and that looks like all of them. And you might notice, I've got some letters here that are confusing, you might notice that I said the center point doesn't matter because all your lines meet at the center, so you can see where that is. This is quite confusing now, so, this is, uh, is, we can tidy this up a little bit. These circles, you might or might not need them, but you'll be able to see, if I remove the circles, you'll be able to see a little bit more clearly the shape that I've got that I'm going to use. Now, this shape here, without all the little letters on it, forms the basis of the design. You might need to put some of the circles back in. You might want to put some of them um, back in place, particularly really the first one, if that goes in. Once you've got that shape, it's nice and neat and accurate, then you've got what you need to start drawing your designs.